swing, as more people are expected to catch trips two days before Christmas. From the seas to the roads and skies, our correspondents are deployed in key transport hubs as we help you navigate the holidays. Stanley Gajete is monitoring the situation at Naia Terminal 3 in Pasay City. Kristen Nodalo is in Cubao, Quezon City, a choke point to check on the movement of travelers and traffic. And our Cebu-based journalist Dale Israel will update us on the influx of passengers at Pier 3. Now from the roads to seas, nearly 300 passengers were rescued after a ferry mishap in Tubigon, Bohol province. Cebu-based journalist Dale Israel reports more on this from Pier 3. Dale? Yes, Sam. Authorities conducted rescue operations earlier this morning after a passenger ferry coming from Cebu ran aground as just as they were about to arrive at the port in Tubigon, Bohol province. The MV passed Cat M20, that's Cebu port, past 3 a.m. with 289 passengers, mostly those going home for Christmas. At around 5 a.m., the ferry ran aground off the coast of Tubigon in Bohol. The ferry, which was also carrying 47 crew members and 35 rolling cargoes, was left at sea for over four hours before the passengers were transferred to smaller boats going to Tubigon. According to Philippine Coast Guard Central Visayas Operations Officer, Lieutenant Junior Grade Stephen Pagkaliwaga, ongoing rescue operations immediately began past 9 a.m. with the help of the local government unit of Tubigon. By midday, he said, about half of the passengers were already safely transferred to the port. Now, Pagkaliwagan said there are no reports of oil spill in the area. There are also no reported injuries from the passengers or crew members. Fast Cap Management, on the other hand, canceled four of their Cebu to Begum trips today, which would further crowd passengers catching a ferry, a ferry ride going to their home province, specifically in Bohol. As of this morning, thousands of passengers were already at the various ports in Cebu City, bound for Mindanao and Eastern Visayas. Long lines were observed in the ticketing offices, while a huge crowd was also inside terminals awaiting for boarding. Data from the Cebu Ports Authority's Oplan Biahing Ayos showed that there are already over 37,000 inbound passengers reported, as well as over 35,000 outbound or outbound passengers from the various ports in Cebu since December 20 and until ye yesterday. Authorities expect the number to double today, the last day of work before Christmas and the long weekend ahead. Passengers should expect even longer lines and may even have to stand at the waiting areas as most seats are occupied in the terminal lounges. Back to you, Sam. That was Cebu-based journalist Dale Israel reporting live from Pier 3. And that's it for today. It's